Okay, welcome to our module 3 uh, lesson. We have here our title, Applying Puya's Four Steps in Problem Solving. And our learning objective is, at the end of this session, you should be able to understand Puya's Four Steps in Problem Solving and also apply those steps that I'm going to give to you. Alright? Okay, we have here our content notes. And I'm going to give you a short uh, background about this mathematician. We have here George Puya. George Puya here. Uh, he is a Hungarian mathematician who immigrated in the United States in 1940. And he published a book, How to Solve It, in 1945. Um, he is renowned for his contribution to problem solving and mathematics education. And also, he is widely recognized as the father of problem solving for his work in developing a systematic approach to tackling mathematical problems. All right. Again, the book that he published is How to Solve It in 1945. And we have also here um, the four steps he, his contribution, four steps in problem solving process. So number one, step number one is understand the problem. Step number two, devise a plan or a translate. Step number three is carry out the plan or solve. And then step number four, we're going to look back or checking or interpret. So when we say understand the problem, uh, we are ensuring one fully grasps what is being asked. So we need to grasp. We need to understand, we need to think what is uh, the given problem. And then step number two, when we say device, device a plan or translate, uh, we are developing a strategy or approach to solve the problem. Okay, that's what it means by devising a plan. We're going to translate. And when we say about carry out the plan or solve, uh, we are implementing the chosen strategy on how to solve a certain problem, okay? We're doing uh, different um, cues or strategy that we need to do to be able for us to solve a certain problem. And when we say look back, we are reviewing the solution and the process to learn from it, okay? All right, we have here, uh, I'll give you examples. So example number one, let's read this. Uh, this is under number relation problem. We have twice the difference of a number and one is four more than that number. Find the number. So we are going to use the Puglia's four steps in problem solving uh, in answering this given problem. Okay, so step number one, step number one, okay, wait. Step number one, step one, we need to understand the problem. So to some total ungiven problem, twice the difference of a number and one is four more than that number. sa problem. We are going to find the number. So wala ta kabaloon sa ungiven na number na pangitaon. So we let x be the number. So, wala itong pangitaon. Question mark na si x. Dira at kung saan ang value ni x. So, step number two. Uh, let's translate or devise a plan or translate. Okay, so we're going to translate this given statement here. Twice. When we say twice, that is two. The difference of a number and one. Difference is subtraction. Difference of a number and one. Difference of a number and number is nag-represent sa x. Difference of a number and one. Since twice man, in pasabutan na sabi sa'yo, kaduhaon. So, kung, kung baga, i-multiply doon yung kaduhaon, ang difference ni number o ni one. Difference ni number and ni one. So, twice, kaduhaon, kanang parenthesis there, and represent as multiplication. Kaduhaon, man meaning yan ng twice. So, kaduhaon ni mo, ang difference, ni number, na nag-represent sa x, and 1. 
So that's how, how are we going to translate. Continue. Why is the difference of a number and one is? When we say is in mathematics, it represents as equal sign. So is for more than. More than is addition, that number. Number is the represent as x. Yeah. So that's how we translate. I don't want to x. Okay, again, twice the difference of a number and one parenthesis there and represent as multiplication since twice is four more than that number. So that's how we translate or devise a plan in step number two. And then after that, we have here step number three, carry out a plan or we're going to solve na given na to nga na translate. So we have here distribute 2 times x, that's 2x. Distribute 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Copy the sign, equal sign, copy c4, and then x. Next one. 2x minus x is equal to 4 plus x. 2x here has a variable. 2 here is a whole number. 4 here is a whole number, and x is a variable. So, delete na to pwede i-subtract and i-add ang whole number and, and variable. So, kailangan na to sila i-combine like terms. So, we have 2x. Partner 2x na na variable is si x. So, we need to transpose. We have x here. Ito i-transpose. Take note, ma-change ang sign pag transpose ni mo if mutabok sa equal sign. Si si x mutabok sa equal sign. Pag transpose, positive x, mahi mo siyang negative x. Pag transpose, mutabok sa equal sign. Ang positive, may mo negative. Ang negative, may mo positive. It depends. So, copy the sign, equal sign. Copy si 4. Negative 2 here, transpose, since this is whole number, negative 2, pag transpose, may mo siya, positive 2. Okay? So, we have here, pareha na sila. We, we, we've already combined those like terms. So, 2x minus x, that's x. Take note, x and 1x, pareha lang na sila. Okay? So, kumbaga, 2x minus 1x, minus so, bisaya pa, 2 minus 1, that's 1x or x. So, you have imaginary number na lang ng 1 dira. Ah. So, it represent as 1x. As is na siya na, I always want ka ng x ha, pwede na din na to Okay, ato sa i-erase din rin aside. Okay, so we have here again 2x minus x, that's x or 1x. Copy the equal sign, 4 plus 2, that's 6. Okay, so we have here the value of our number is 6. So we have also step number 4. Step 4, checking. Okay, checking. That's step number 4. Look back or checking. So let, let's copy step number 2. 2x two minus 1 is equal to 4 plus x. Since we already know the value of our x, the value of our x is 6. So, kanang x dira, pulihan lang na to, kanang mga x, pulihan na to number 6. So, we have 2, 6 minus 1 is equal to 4 plus 6. 6 minus 1, that's 5, copy 2, 4 plus 6, that's 10. So, we have 2 times 5, that's 10, is equal to 10. So our answer here, 6 is correct. It represents here by checking. But take note that even if we have here the left and the right side, same number, you need to be careful in doing the step number 2 because sometimes it will lead to correct checking. But the translation here is wrong. So again, be careful in answering step number two because sometimes it will lead you to correct checking but the answer is still wrong. Again, do this first here, correct correct answer, a correct translation in step number two 
para dili mabulabog ang checking. Okay? Okay, we have here another example. We have age problem. So let's read this. The sum of the ages of a father and his son is 48 years. The father is three times as old as his son. Find their ages. So we need to use the police four step in answering this problem. So let's start with step number one. Let's use yellow color. Step one. Understand the problem. The sum of the ages of a father and his son is 48 years. The father is three times as old as his son. So find their ages. So ang itao na to, ang edad ni papa o ni son. So si father, since I'm going to read this problem, the sum. Si father plus si son. The sum man. The sum of the ages of the father and the son. So edad ni papa o ni anak is... 48. So, let's go to the father is three times as old as his son. So, si father is three times katuluhon sa edad sa son. And the statement, wala managingon pilang edad ni son. So, it represent as X. So, katuluhon sa edad ni son. Si son, wala takabalu, wala may statement, nagrepresent as X. Wala na. Okay? So, again, ang atong ipangita, ang edad ni father and the son, ng equivalent sa ilang duha sa 48. Okay, step number 2. Kani siya, ato naman ang gitranslate dira ah, para mabawa na ito sa kailangan. So, si father, kana si father, this one, kana si father plus si son is equal to 48. We're going to translate the given sa so step number 1. Ang value ni father is here. Si father nag-represent sa 3x. So, ilisa na itong father of 3x. Copy the sign plus si son, wala takabalo sa value ni son, nag-represent as x. So, ang son dira, ilisa na itong x. Then, copy 48. Okay? Since this 3x and x, pareha sila, variable with variable. So, pwede sila i-add. Okay? So, 3x plus x. So, we have 4x is equal to 48. Alright? So, ito na na siya. Kani siya nga process that's under step 3 na niya. Again, continue na nako solve. Okay? So, we have 4x is equal to 48. Para mabawa na tong value sa x, makancel si x. Makancel ni ambilin si x, rather. So, ito siya i-divide both sides by 4 para makrush out ng 4 niya. Mahabilin si x. So, continue na to. Mahabilin si x. Kaya na-cancel man ang 4. 48 divide 4, that's 12. So, si x tari, ah, if ato ang balikan, ng ato ang step number 1, nag-represent as the sun. So, therefore, x is equal to 12, it represents as the sun's age. Okay? So, na natin yung edad sa anak. How about si father? This one. Kana. So, si father... Okay, ang ipangita man is find their ages. Idad nilang duha. Si father, kopya lang na. Father is 3x. So, si father is equal to 3. Since ang value sa x, nabawa naman na ito, mauni siya, 12. Ilisan lang na ng x of 12. Ayan. So, father is equal to 3 times 12. That's 36. Therefore, ang idad ni father is 36. This is father's age. Sana na tayo edad ni anak. Sana na tayo edad ni papa. So, let's have step number four. Checking. Checking. So, kopyahan lang ng kanan siya. Si father plus si son is 48. So, father plus son is equal to 48. Ang edad ni papa, kabalata ng 36. So, ilisa na tong father of 36. Ang edad ni son it's 12, it is an X plus 10 na siya, sorry. It is an X 12, ang edad ni son is equal to 48. So we have 36 plus 12, that's 48, is equal to 48. Alright? So therefore, the, sons is, the son is 12 years old, 
and the father is 36 years old so that's the that's our way and how to solve a given age problem using police four steps in problem solving sorry as dj good. 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 Good.